New at 5 at Target 12, investigators exclusive. Everything is just a nightmare, to be honest. The sister of a murder victim is speaking for the first time since her brother was shot and killed while driving his car in Providence. It happened the night before Thanksgiving in 2022. More than a year later, there are still no arrests in the case. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie has his sister's plea for answers. This seven line police report is all that's been publicly released about Craig Robinson's murder. His sister says she feels like someone knows something about his death and she's asking any of those people or suspects to come forward. He was like the light of the room and the family. Aaliyah Robinson describes her younger brother Craig as a funny, sweet guy. I call him Pillsbury Doughboy because he's just such a like uppity person outgoing. But at 24 years old, Craig Robinson's life was cut short. On November 23rd, 2022, Robinson crashed his car on Hazel Street in Providence, but it was no ordinary crash. First responders found he had been shot. Police believe it happened two blocks away on nearby Phoebe Street, where they found a shell casing. He had uh, passed away uh, shortly after he arrived at the hospital. Aaliyah says she spoke with her brother who lived in North Providence hours before and got no indication anything was off. We talked about Thanksgiving. I told him, you know, be there, be there for three o'clock. That's the time we're eating. Like she says in the 14 months since, police haven't provided any major updates. I just know that my brother was going to meet someone. And um, really, that's it. I'm kind of like blindsided like everybody else. We only know what they're releasing, so. Police have not named any suspects, but previously told reporters they believed the shooting was targeted. So they weren't looking for anybody else but um, the victim and maybe a friend. Aaliyah says she feels someone may have tried to rob her brother or maybe an argument went wrong, but she told me she doesn't feel the intent was to kill him that night. I think it was in the moment. Do you think you have an idea of who you know did this? No, I have no idea. It's hard for me to even trust people. I don't know who to trust. If you could talk to someone who knows something but isn't sharing, what would you say? If you know something, don't withhold the information. You don't know the lives that you could be helping by coming forward. I took questions about the Robinson investigation to Colonel Oscar Perez in a recent wide-ranging interview. Any homicide that happens in the city is never forgotten about. Coming up at 6, hear from the chief about where the investigation stands today, plus why Aaliyah's brother's death is not the first time her family has been hit with tragedy. With the Target 12 investigators in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Now to a Target 12 investigators exclusive. 24-year-old Craig Robinson was shot and killed the night before Thanksgiving in 2022, and police still have not named any suspects. His sister spoke with Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie about her plea for answers and how this was not the first time tragedy struck the family. When Craig Robinson was killed in 2022, he was the city's eighth homicide victim. Of the nine homicides total that year, Robinson's remains the only one without any arrests. It was the night before Thanksgiving in Providence, and Aaliyah Robinson says she had just talked to her brother Craig hours before. I told him, you know, be there, be there for three o'clock. That's the time we're eating. Like That night, police were called for a motor vehicle accident on Hazel Street. We responded, unfortunately, we found a person that had been shot. Former commander, now Colonel Oscar Perez, was on scene that night. A routine car crash quickly turned into a homicide investigation with 24-year-old Craig Robinson dead. Let's just say the whole situation was targeted. BCI detectives combed the scene for evidence and canvassed the neighborhood for any surveillance video from homes. But more than 14 months later, police have still not made any arrests or released any new details. Perez says the investigation is still active. We just, we got to find the leads to be able to find answers for the families. And so it's something that we work on all the time. And, and so uh, no homicides forgotten about. Craig's older sister, Aaliyah, says her family hasn't been the same since the murder. I would say it has brought us closer in a way, but... It has also shattered us as well. Aaliyah's brother's death was not the first time she and her family have faced tragedy. When I think about it, it gets me upset.
In 2014, Devon Taylor, Aaliyah's boyfriend and father to her daughter, was killed in an eerily similar way, shot while driving in Providence. Devon's sister, Destiny, was also injured in the shooting. In this case, an arrest was made less than a week later. Joseph Taylor, who had no relation to the victims, was later sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. A year later, Juan Ranero, who drove the car, was charged and also issued the same sentence. Aaliyah said she feels the timing of her brother's death may have hindered the investigation. I feel like because it was Thanksgiving Eve that they didn't do what they really were supposed to do. Like, they didn't collect everything they needed. She's asked asking anyone who may know something about her brother's death, no matter how minor it may seem, to come forward to police. I feel like somebody knows something, whether it's the mother of the victim, of the suspect, um, cousin, friend, something. It's Providence, and Providence is very small, so I'm hoping that someone, you know, has a heart, some type of heart, um, and wants to talk. If you think you know something that can help, give Providence Police a call. You can contact their investigative division at 401-243-6111. With the Target 12 investigators in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.